Well, welcome back to the third and hopefully final part in this little mini series of my home printing journey. Now, I, I started off this series, episode one, with a pretty negative view on my own personal experience with printing at home. And I was pretty serious about this being last chance saloon in regards to actually following up and continuing with home printing. As you'll have seen if you had watched the first two videos, there were a number of issues. But I felt that one of the biggest issues that I had wasn't necessarily with the actual technicalities of the print, i.e. having way off colour problems and double profiling and clogs and things like that. It was more in relation to how once I held a print that I made in my hand, how I felt about that print, did it really feel like I had completed the whole circle of the photography journey for that particular image. And that's what actually concerned me most. Now, for the last several weeks, I have been doing a lot of printing. A lot of printing. As you'll have seen in the uh, episode two, we got the technicality side of things sorted, the double profiling and the um, clogs and things like that. So it really was now just left up to me to see whether I could bring that real feeling of holding one of my prints in my hands. And I'm pleased to say things are looking up. So obviously what I wanted to look at was, as I said in the last episode, I was again going to be choosing only a small selection of my images. I think it's important, you know, just because I'm looking to print images, I, I think it would be a mistake to choose 50 images and just kind of say, right, all these images are going to be for sale. Um, mainly because I want to kind of go through each of those images and match them not only to the correct paper, but obviously doing whatever small tweaks are needed to better suit that particular paper. And so at the moment I have nine images that I feel confident that uh, look how I want them to look on this specific paper. Now one of the first papers that I have decided to use, probably no surprises to those who have used the photo speed paper, is the Platinum Barata. Now this does work well with certain images. It gives a real fantastic punch. Um, obviously it's a, it's a glossy paper um, and any images I find that I've got a lot of deep reds, deep oranges and things like that, um, not only are well suited to the Platinum Barata, but also on the sort of flip side, are really not suited to matte type papers. Now, maybe as I become more proficient with printing, I will be able to make some of those images look better on matte papers, but for now, the Platinum Barata will be my paper of choice for a small selection of the images. Um, but yeah, really, again, using custom profiles built by Photospeed. Um, really happy with how some of these prints are actually looking. The other paper that uh, I'm going to be using is the Smooth Cotton. Um, now, this is a matte paper and it delivers a smooth finish. And I find um, that this worked really well in my seascape images or those where I wanted to give a more sort of painterly soft pastel type approach. Certainly the, the smooth cotton has delivered there. Now, I've spoken to a couple of other photographers and they are using smooth cotton because of its ability for higher saturation images from the matte uh, paper range, actually doing sort of reasonably saturated images. Now, I haven't yet managed to get that to work. The colors really just don't seem to play ball. So for now, really using these mostly for sort of those softer sort of seascape images. And then the final, the third and final paper that I'm hoping to use 
is platinum etching. Now I think where this really comes into its own is where you want to emphasize a little bit of texture in your images. And so of course, woodland really does spring to mind there. Um, and also sort of anywhere where maybe you've got a little bit of texture in the foreground, texture in the grass and things like that. I think that works. Personally speaking, I think that works really well. Now what I find with platinum etching, going back to the smooth cotton, printing out some of my seascape images where I thought maybe I wanted to bring a little bit of texture to the waves and things, I I just didn't feel it, it, it worked. Now, I'm sure there are photographers out there who are using platinum etching for seascape, so don't take this as a one rule. But for me personally, I felt that the images that I was uh, working on, it was the smooth cotton paper that worked better with those seascape images and the platinum, uh, platinum etching, where I just wanted to bring a little bit of texture to the image it's itself. So those are the three papers that I intend to use, the Platinum Burrata, the Smooth Cotton, and finally the Platinum Etching. That's not to say that I won't continue to test other papers. I know there are a bunch of other papers out there that are get a very uh, favorable review from a number of photographers. So from time to time, I will be looking to test that. And that's great. Photospeed have got a bunch of uh, test packs different mats, different glosses, things like that. Um, so it's a good chance to sort of test out some of the paper. Now I wouldn't say the last couple of weeks have been all plain sailing, but generally we have been moving in a positive fashion most of the time. Um, it's certainly been quite a, a an interesting, fun learning curve in regards to the paper type uh, and matching that to the type of image. Now, obviously, because I'm looking to not only print for myself, but to also uh, potentially sell some images, I was very aware that I didn't want a whole range of papers because that doesn't make a huge amount of economic sense, whether you're doing it for yourself or whether you're doing it commercially. Um, and so I kind of, photo speed are great. And in fact, I just want to sort of mention both from the, the helping out with sort of the basic technical stuff and all the way throughout this this process photo speed have been fantastic in regards to technical support and obviously they're still uh, paper delivering things even during these strange times so the first image that i have uh, worked with is this scene from the river cam in cambridge it's a beautiful beautiful morning hoar frost that hung around forever um that sort of sort of winter sun low sun, just illuminating everything, and a little bit of mist along the river as well. And I'm actually going to be uh, offering this on platinum etching. I think it actually works quite well. I think it actually works quite well, uh, just with that little subtle bit of texture along those trees. And even though there is water in this, which perhaps I'll, I'll think about smooth cotton, um, I think actually the platinum etching works rather well on, on, on this. This is a platinum Barata image right out of the bag, those deep, deep shadows. Um, I, I tried, I mean, because we do have some texture in these stones, I did try with a, um, a matte paper, but I was just getting off the bat just too many ga gamut warnings. Um, and when I tried to print it out on, on the matte, you just lost a lot of that depth and deep sort of uh, deep shadows. So this is certainly one on the platinum burrata and i also feel personally that when i'm now i don't do this that often but when i'm shooting into the sun and when you've got a bright kind of highlight you're almost kind of squinting uh towards it then actually something like the platinum burrata really brings that kind of you know shine that sheen out really well as well as well as holding on to those deep shadows so next up is a scene from malin head on a another beautiful beautiful evening just that sort of lovely side light coming in from the from the setting sun and this is actually one of the first images now that I'll be printing on smooth cotton and again even though there's a lot of kind of rock detail in here because I've smoothed out a lot of that water and those clouds are kind of a very painterly feel there's not a huge amount of texture to them I just felt that the smooth cotton worked quite well took a couple of goes in soft proofing 
uh, for this to kind of get as as I as I wanted it. Mainly when I was first printing it, the kind of detail in the um, or the light in, in in the cliffs was just quite quite washed out, quite dull. So actually, with my soft proofing image, I actually had to do quite a bit of sort of not oversaturation, but just bring out a bit more of the saturation in and across this sort of cross section of the um, of, of the cliffs. So that's one with smooth cotton. Beautiful morning along Murloc Bay, along the Causeway Coast. And this one, I feel, this was actually one of the first images that I, that I worked on. And this is where I really got the sort of feeling that anything that had a whole lot of texture in it, um, platinum etching was going to work really well and it especially works in and around just this sweeping curve here you can almost make out each individual braid, blade of grass and whereas again the smooth cotton took the image okay it kind of made it less of a that 3d view because because there's all individual little sort of blades of grass I just felt that the platinum etching really worked really well and I say especially in and around this sort of bottom half where you've got all of those individual blades of grass so really pleased with how that one worked this one um along the uh up at white rocks beach just outside of port rush um this one actually proved quite popular this image proved quite popular um on social media whatever gauge that means um and this is one again which is just perfect for me using smooth cotton just that lovely smoothness all the way across Arguably may also work with something like Platinum Barata because you do have a little bit of sheen on here uh, which could sort of emphasize that but Smooth Cotton just is perfect for this type of image for me because again you just have that nice, no real textures in the image, a lovely sort of smoothness, smoothness throughout. So next image is the uh, scene from Shrove Jetty in County Donegal across in Ireland and again this is another one uh, I'm going to be printing with smooth cotton. Now I was kind of on the fence here. Um, obviously here in the foreground, this is a beautifully textured um, jetty. And platinum etching was obviously my, my first go-to here. Um, but it was kind of a bit of a compromise. Because again, while the um, platinum etching brought out a lot of the textures in this immediate foreground, I just felt again because of the smoothness of the water and the smoothness of the of the clouds that it was bringing a little bit too much te texture to those for my liking. So this is another smooth cotton image. And this, you know, before I started this whole um, print proofing and testing different papers, I would have looked at an image such as this and thought, I'm not sure that, that would be I would be able to print that out without huge color shift on a matte paper. But both the platinum etching and the smooth cotton took this image fine from a colour perspective. It was just my preference regarding the smoothness of the smooth cotton versus that slight etching on the platinum etching. Another scene from half a mile from where I live. Uh, this is uh, Port Russian pastel. And again, that smoothness, those pastel colours, you guessed it, it's a smooth cotton image. And again, th this... <laughs> If only all of the images I took were of this color palette, I think printing and choosing paper would be a heck of a lot easier because an image such as this, yes, there's still a little bit of tweaking to do. And certainly all of the images that I have kind of decided on putting up on my um, print store, um, I have printed several times to get the colors uh, just as I want them. But this was certainly one of the easier ones to work with uh, just because of the very soft color palette that, you've, palette that you have going on here. So here we now have a little scene, a little moment Hebridean uh, scene from uh, Vattersea in the Art of Hebrides. And I just loved the light here. And this is a platinum etching image. A couple of reasons for that. Number one, uh, the texture in those stones and especially in the sand. When, when I took this image and when I viewed it digitally, I hadn't really paid attention to how much texture there was in the sand and actually the platinum etching image just 
brings that out a little bit. So it was actually quite a pleasant surprise, even for myself, who took the image to sort of see something that I hadn't originally seen in the digital image. Um, and then, of course, lovely sort of texture, just bringing out again a little bit of those individual grass, um, uh, blades of grass in, in the dune. So a platinum etching image here. And then finally, Moonrise over Sheep Island, uh, smooth cotton. And I think this was the first image that I printed out, tried with platinum etching, and I just thought, hmm, this doesn't really work for, for me. Again, the platinum etching worked well to bring out a little bit of texture detail in Sheep Island itself, but the sea and certainly the clouds it, and, and this sort of very sort of pale sort of area, I just, I just wasn't overly sort of keen on that etching side of things. Now, a day like this, or sorry, a scene like this, uh, maybe when there's, you know, snowfall or rainfall or elements in the atmosphere, that may actually work because you do have some layers of texture actually in the original image itself. But just for this, this for me is a smooth cotton image. So there you go. So those are the nine images that I've been working on over the last probably two and a half weeks, getting ready for print shop and I'm happy to say they are now available on my print store. Um, I'm printing on A3 paper and the image is obviously uh, slightly cropped on the paper based upon the ratio that the image was actually taken at um, but all full details are actually on my website and I'll put a, a link below. Um, all the images obviously will come in a protective um, casing, protective plastic casing and they also come with a certificate of authenticity. Um, they are limited edition, um, 30 uh, prints per edition, unless otherwise stated. Um, they are unnumbered and unsigned. Um, I don't have a signature. I just don't. I have a scribble. I have something that's different every, every time I write it down. Causes Nicola no end of embarrassment when we, have, when we have to do something official and my signature is on record. So no signature on the print, no um, numbering on the print, but that will be listed on the certificate of authenticity. Um, so if you're interested in a print, go down below. Um, this video is already getting quite long. I've still got quite a lot to talk about printing, but I'll leave that for a, another uh, vlog. Just things like, you know, because I've tested so many different papers, it is interesting. You know, one of the things I thought was in a, in a woodland scene, you know, heavily textured paper would actually work better, but actually, it kind of detracts from a, a little bit. Um, so there's just lots of sort of other little nuances that, you know, are, you know, coming into mind now that I've been playing about lots with, with printing. Right. So the question I asked myself, was it Last Chance Saloon for printing? And I think I have to say no. And actually, I'm quite excited about printing now. Now, I'm under no illusions that it's still quite an expensive thing to take on. And I think, you know, to get the most out of it, I really need to be printing regularly. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that later on. Um, obviously, it would be great to be selling prints regularly, but let's be realistic here. But I still need to be printing regularly. I think for two reasons. One printer needs to be used, simple as. Leaving it unused causes problems. But secondly, I do want to have something tactile in my hand. And that's something that's been rattling about in my head for a good number of months now. More so than simply having something digitally. More so even than having an individual image printed as nice as this, this is. But actually something else and we'll talk about that in an upcoming vlog. But for now, printing's back on the table. I'm excited about printing again. Um, it it has given me a, a real nice feeling holding on to something that I created, physically holding something I created. So yeah, printing's back. Anyway guys, I hope this has been useful. If you do have any questions about my printing or printing in general, then please do let me know. Obviously, um, speak to Photospeed as well. Those guys are extremely knowledgeable and extremely helpful when it comes to printing, especially if you're just getting started with your print journey. 
Right. Enough from me. Until next time. Wait, 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 wait. Not quite there just yet. And I'll be really, really quick. Um, one other thing. So I got a test pack of panoramic paper. And there was one particular reason why I got this paper. And it was for one specific image that I have wanted to print out for a while. And in fact, Nicola has wanted me to print out for a while because she's wanted something for above the bed in our bedroom. And that's what I'm going to test this on. And I'll throw that, throw that image up at the end of this vlog. Right, honestly, that's me finished now. Until next time, bye-bye.